versus Samsung. The ultimate battle between tech. They've been rivals for as long as I can remember. So today we're gonna be putting all of their newest products head to head to find out once and for all which is better. This will be a fair competition. We will be judging based off quality, performance, camera quality, battery life, and of course the price. May the best company win. The tablets. Now I'm a bit biased as we all know based on my channel. I use a lot of Apple products but I'm gonna be fair and square today. Satisfying ability. Apple wins. <laughs> Same exact thing. No, this one was easier to pull. I mean, I had a narrow. First thing we're comparing is the iPad 10th generation versus the Galaxy Tab S9 FE. Man, that name is long. Galaxy Tab F9 E S R N. The Galaxy Tab S9 FE comes in at $379, whilst the Apple iPad comes in at $449. So not too big of a difference, but Apple is definitely more expensive right now. Moment of truth. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Am I dumb? This is why I'm an Apple user. I don't know. This is just weird. This is not open. This is why you need the arrows. I do need the arrows. Okay, so here is our Galaxy Tab. Ooh, this is clean. Not gonna lie. It feels really nice. And this is the key difference right here. This little thing right here, the pen, is probably gonna be the reason why this wins. Because if you were to get the Apple Pencil, it would be an extra $100. Inside this Samsung tablet, we have charger. Wow. And then I guess the instructions. Is there anything else in the box? No. Then over here on the iPad. Ooh, she's nice. She's pretty. And then inside the Apple box, we have a block and a braided charger, which is sick because the other one wasn't braided. Okay, so we're pretty even, Steven, right about now, but let's turn them on. Dude, I feel like it's such a, oh, I feel like such a dummy when it comes to like Samsungs because I really don't know how to function yeah. these things, not gonna lie. Oh, see, the Apple's already on. It's already on and ready. This one took forever. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip through the boring part and start both of these up. Okay, so I have both of them on and ready to go. To be honest, right off the bat, the Apple is so much more colorful. I know that's not even a good comparison, but it just looks way better. But this pen is so fun. Look, watch this. This is pretty good. Cool. <laughs> I think it's on my name. First things first. I'm the realist. Oh, shoot. I just looked up the battery life on both of these. The iPad is a 10 hour straight. And I was like, wow, that's really good. Samsung Galaxy Tab S9, 20 hours. They said double it. I'm gonna have to give it to Samsung. Point, Samsung. Oh, and then the price Samsung wins too. Oh, Samsung's winning so much right now. It's been crazy. <laughs> Let's do video quality. I think it's very important to test out how good the video watching looks because let's all be so for real. We're all watching so Grace right now. <laughs> 160. Jeez. Dude, I'm actually really liking this right now, to be honest. So are you gonna switch to Samsung? No, okay. <laughs> this is for science. This is not for me, this is for science. Time to do the video test. I'm so excited. Well, wow, this is so freaking hard. Dude, this is impossible. I'm like, oh, let me just compare them. It'll be so easy. Apple, 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 Apple. I don't want all the comments being like, she just picked Apple because she just likes them better. I'm being fair and square. For video playback, I'm going to have to give it to Samsung. I don't know why. I feel like it just looks like better coloring, better quality. I mean, of course, it's really hard to tell based off a YouTube video, but just based on watching it back, I think the Samsung is. Now it's time to test out the performance. And what better way to test out the performance of a device than, you ain't ready for this one. I'll give you a hint. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, we opened this at 100% or in like 95%, it's at 87 already. iPads die fast. They look so similar, it's not even funny. Like they just both look good. There's no complaints with either of these. I guess they make good devices, huh? Ah, I can't do both at the same time. Impressive. Thank you. Using my multitasking skills. Based on performance, I feel like it's just a tie. There's absolutely no way we can tell performance. The tablet battle based on everything, the Samsung tablet wins. It's overall cheaper, better, and it comes with a pen. I feel bad betraying out. Yeah. Next thing up, we're gonna try out the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro versus the AirPod 2. Oh, I know. There's no sticker to pull thing. Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Yeah. 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 So this is obviously not the original Apple packaging. Whoops. But we have, of course, the charger and the AirPods. And then over here, we have the Samsung 2 Buds Pro. <sighs> Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. The biggest way we're gonna compare these is really just how good they sound and the battery. Both of these earbuds are priced at the exact same amount of $179. So that is a tie. The AirPods third generation battery life lasts six hours without the charging case. And the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro lasts eight hours. Whatever. So now it's time for the only thing that's actually important. All right, there's the earbud. I like the look of the AirPods better, to be honest. They're easier to put on too, because they have like a little handle. Bruh. <laughs> My favorite. Okay, our little jelly beans going in. 
These sound better. These are definitely louder, but these definitely, I can hear like every little like beat and drum and sound from the studio that was made this masterpiece. This is one of the most difficult decisions I've ever had to make. After a further dilemma and debate, the fact that this lasts longer in the battery and just the overall, I feel like these are easier to use though. Like I'm not saying that these are better in every way. I'm just saying that they sound better and they last longer, but these are like still my favorite because they pair very easily and they're easier to use. Just based off of the fact, Galaxy wins again. Bro, this is rigged. <laughs> Freaking rigged. Honestly, I'm so sad. Like, I feel like this is not right. This is not how it's supposed to go. The moment you guys have been waiting for the ultimate battle the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. These are both in the new titanium color. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is actually starting at $1,400 versus Apple's $1,200. For the first time in history, I think Samsung's actually more expensive. You see that? You see how unsatisfying that freaking tear was? Ridiculous. Oh. Nah, this is crazy. This has to be the most ultimate showdown of all time. Look at it. So the battery for video watchback for the Galaxy is 30 hours versus the iPhone, which is 29 hours. So again, not a huge difference, not a big deal. I just think it's so funny that both of the companies came up with a titanium color at the same time. Ah. Inside the Apple box, of course, we have the instructions, Apple stickers, and the braided cable charger. Inside the Samsung box, the charger instructions. I don't think the internet is ready for this. Not satisfying. Wait, just wait for it. Wow. I tried, okay? Wow, look at that. We should not be in the same room together. It's getting crazy. Okay, I feel like Apple screen is obviously way better. This is just being nitpicky, but like, I want to be welcomed with hello colors. Just a blank white welcome screen. Okay, so we're into both of our smartphones, the Galaxy and the iPhone. And this is what we're looking like so far. I have to say, I'm not used to like a Galaxy Samsung feel whatsoever. I think the look of both of them are super cool. It looks like it would poke your eye out. Yeah, it is pretty sharp. I'm not gonna lie. Just holding it, like there's like very pointy edges and it's not like that comfortable for me to hold. Check this out, guys. Y'all are ready for this. A pen! <laughs> I don't know why I love the pen so much, dude. It's like when I had a DS. I just love that they always incorporate the pen for some reason. Who wouldn't want a little pen? Right now, Samsung wins just for this little thing. Of course, now we have to test the biggest thing with the two different smartphones, the cameras. Everything else is pretty similar, but the cameras is the biggest deal to me because I spend the most time using the camera on my phone. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's close. That is close. I can't tell which one looks better. I think I look less crusty in the Apple one. Hmm. Samsung's is definitely more like contrast and like more sharp. This is the camera test on both of the phones. What are we thinking? Which one looks better? Right now, Apple looks like it's winning. Dang, you guys are gonna have to comment down below which one you think looks better because I really can't tell. Like, I feel like both of them look great just in different ways. I have no idea. I think that we're gonna have to take this camera test up a level. Go Outside. All right. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. I think we have an obvious winner right now after just looking at this footage. I think the Samsung is having a really hard time picking up all this. Apple's looking way crispier right now. I can't tell. Time to see the final verdict on the camera. Oh man, this is tough. It's so close. They look so similar. It's honestly crazy. I feel like each of them do better under certain lightings. Dude, I think Apple wins. Am I biased? Apple's just always been better at cameras, though. That's just how it is. That's how it be. Nah, that's crazy. It's hard to tell, right? Samsung is better, though. You think so? Yeah. Oh, okay. Samsung. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it has to go to Apple. Just because I think so. Huh? Bro, they're just like copying each other at this point. <laughs> Although, look at when you turn on the Galaxy. That one's kind of cooler. And of course, we have to test out the speakers to see which one has a better overall sound. I'm not super professional with all of this, so don't go hate on me in the comments being like, oh my gosh, you know talking about. I'm just judging based on my own personal opinion. Okay, so calm down. Of course, our favorite non-copyright sounds. <laughs> Dude, they sound the exact same. The overall feel of this one in my hand though is kind of annoying. This one's way easier to hold. I do feel that the screen is bigger than this one just because it's square. Overall, these are very, very close devices. They're both really, really awesome. They're both really, really expensive. Based on the overall price, battery, performance, and quality, the winner of the Smartphone Awards and the Sarah Grace Book of World Record, it is an official book, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now you can argue with me in the comments. I get it. Samsung has its very own 
perks and benefits, but overall, just the user friendliness of the iPhone and the camera, most importantly, which is the most important thing to me, iPhone wins it. And for the price, you're charging us $200 extra for the pen. Next up is the watch category. We have the Galaxy Watch 6 versus the Apple Watch 9, 45 millimeters. So this is the newest watch of each. Starting off with the price, the Galaxy Watch 6 comes in at $339, while the Apple Watch comes in at $399. So it's about $50 more expensive, which is not too shabby. I obviously am an Apple Watch user, so I'm gonna try my best not to be biased. Packaging, let's just be so for real, Apple wins every time. Like, come on now, come on, come on. That's an experience. This is like, oh yeah, I got my new, my new Samsung watch. This is magic. I feel like Apple is just like, when you open their products, it's just an experience. Like everybody knows it. Like when you get a new Apple product and you peel it open for the first time, it's just like, Okay, so here is the new Apple Watch Series 9. I have not even seen this before, so I'm excited. And then we have the Apple Watch Band. All right. Okay, so here are the two watches. I don't really know how to turn this one on. Dude, both of these suck so far. Neither of them have battery. Okay, so both of them popped up pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and set them up. Personally, I like the Galaxy look better just because it looks more like your classic watch and doesn't look super, like it doesn't stand out as much as the Apple Watch does. See, look how much quicker that was. Your Apple Watch is paired. Why does it need to download a song? Software. Call me impatient if you want. But I'm impatient. Honestly, this is gonna be the telltale sign. Whichever one finished first wins. <laughs> the Samsung actually beat the Apple. So the watch is now paired. I feel like this is gonna have to be one of the hardest comparisons because how the heck do you compare a watch? Like, I feel like it's definitely personal preference on like what style you like better. Okay, so now that I have the watch on, this thing is actually huge. I don't know if I meant to get the screen this big or if they even make smaller ones, but it does look a little silly goofy. Yo, it's a little laggy. Daily activity, run, walking, cycling, basic stuff, sleep tracker, body composition, what the heck? I'm ready fat. I know, it's gonna tell me if I'm fat. I have no idea how accurate this is thing is. 36% body fat. There are legit whole machine, don't put my body fat percentage on there, it's embarrassing. <laughs> get this off, oh, get this off. Yeah, do that one, do that one, do that one. Do that one. Oh, you're not fat. You're not fat. I swear to you, there are like whole machines for this kind of stuff. There's absolutely no way a watch could do that. Sleep, weather, calendar. Okay, what is this? Samsung, be so freaking for real. What is this? What is this? That looks like it's gonna haunt me in my dream. Terrifying. Ah! <laughs> it looks like I got run over by four cars. <laughs> it's been a long day, bro. Ah! Samsung just called me fat and ugly in so many different ways. Oh, it does kind of look like me. Ah! <laughs> Samsung, you have questionable tastes. You have questionable tastes, to say the least. Okay, so this is what the Apple Watch looks like. And personally, I like this layout better. <laughs> it's just I'm familiar with it, but it also is just more bright and colorful. But this one doesn't have a freaking body composition like that other one. That was cool. They all have pretty much the same thing, which is like the ability to text from it, call from it. I know I may be a little biased, but I do think that the Apple Watch faces are way better. They're just like cleaner and more like modern. I mean, look, we got Mickey Mouse right here. Come on now. I I think these are just cool because they have all this information on the screen. Keep they're it practical. Exactly, they're practical. They're mm, boring. Honestly, this has to be one of the hardest comparison we did today, just because they're so similar. They do relatively the same thing. And the prices were so similar. Honestly, I feel like this comparison is based personally on just personal opinion and preference. That's my opinion! For this one, you wouldn't have to go to the Apple Watch. And after going through every single device and dividing up points for whichever win, the winner of the Apple versus Samsung competition with the Samsung tablet winning, that's one point Samsung, the Galaxy Buds is another point for Samsung, the smartphone is a win for Apple, and the watches is a win for Apple. So the grand total of who has a better ecosystem is a tie. I guess we'll just have to leave it up to the comment section. <laughs>